don't know. Just like there's a little basement area over here. What if there was like a secret area behind your uh What if there was like an Edgar Allan Poe cask of a Montalado esque uh area behind this couch? Oh, there's probably another basement for the other half of the house. Right, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Just... So what if my neighbors have somebody hidden in their wine cellar? <laughs> I was saying, I Do you would, okay. see this fucking house? There's no wine cellar. What I was saying is, uh, like, I never considered the fact that on, like, behind us, there was another whole room of, like, a second half of a basement that I had never thought about. There is still currently, probably. It's probably where the washer and dryer is. That's what I've just never heard anybody behind us. Like, we're loud as fuck. Yeah, that is true. But I always account it, like, I always, I know our soundproofing isn't the greatest, but I come down here and sing all the fucking time at any time in the day or night, and nobody fucking yells at me. That's, like, but, I guess, I guess that's just not a usable space for them anymore. I mean, sealing away so many dead bodies as they could <laughs> from the old drunkard. I kind of want to, kind of want to, can we drill a hole in your wall? A little peephole? If my landlord listens to this, no. But... Since it's not a visual podcast. If you were to move your head in an upwards and downwards fashion, some could construe it. You know, you wouldn't know. I cannot be held accountable for what you do not know. You know what I didn't intend? To talk dirt on uh, Tech 9 oh. this week, but... Bitch slap came out. Next subject. Um, <laughs> we may have over... Praised it last. I week. mean, you can't overpraise it. We overhyped it. We overhyped maybe. it. There it Fucking, is. Fucking, how can you have so many good pieces to a puzzle and not put out an absolute fucking banger of a song? Well, I mean, we gave shout outs to the great, great Dej. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I retract those shout outs. Apparently, the great day, Dej, dot, day. We'll call him the great D. G -D we'll call him G -D. Mike Myers because he played. Michael Myers in the Rob Zombie flicks, which those weren't even good versions of the Michael Myers movies. <laughs> Granted, there's like three good Michael Myers movies. Who was who was the original, like the quintessential Michael Myers? Oh, bro, don't put me in I, the spot. Like I'm that. sorry, I always forget. I know it's like a famous actor. I know. I don't. I. But I can't remember. No, because wasn't Michael and Jason? Yeah, Michael and Jason were just like ran through with different actors. Freddie has. I think the quintessential actor. Because he was in every Freddy film until the brand new remake. I don't know why, but my brain immediately went, Freddy movies? Oh, Billy Crystal. <laughs> Billy Crystal. I think Robert England was Freddy. Uh, Michael... Uh, oh, that was Jamie Lee Curtis. That's who I'm thinking. Of. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis was what? in. I mean, they were in the new the Michael Myers movie, but... Yeah, but she's in the original and a bunch of the other ones that no longer count. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know she had Jamie such Lee a famed loves history. The Michael series. That's cool. Um, uh, she Halloween, was always bro. she was it's, always an actor I liked, but or an actress that I liked, but was I? They weren't in a lot of movies that I watched. So when they popped up, I was like, "Oh, fucking cool!" The new Halloween was really it. It was good. It wasn't. Yeah? It wasn't fantastic. Great, but it was good. It was it's as, what I wanted. As someone who's never seen any of the those Halloween films, uh, would I like it? Is it a good film? You so it's can still, you appreciate the film apart from the universe that it's a part of? So the brand new one is basically a replacement of the entire series after the first original Michael Myers. Oh Jesus! Yeah. they went hard reboot. Hard reboot. Well, they didn't go full DMC but it's not the reboot. First time, but it's not the first time they've done it because when Rob Zombie redid it, he hard rebooted the series from the first movie as well. So this is like. I don't remember if it was like original directors and all that stuff, but I remember the big hype of it being that they got Tom, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Mm. And so it's the sequel to the very first movie, and it's it like disproves in the very second movie they ever did, they made Michael Myers and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's character, forgive me, Phantoms, for forgetting her name right now. But they said that they were brother and sister, and then mm -hmm. they say that in the sec new one that it wasn't that. So it's about Jamie Lee and her daughter and her granddaughter and Michael having to, like, revenge, revengeance of Michael. 
but okay. it's like the whole fucking family. I can get behind that. Is behind it. And it's pre- it's pretty decent. It's it's pretty good. It's it's compared to horror movies that have come out as of recently, it wasn't fantastic. Kills were kind of cool, but mm-hmm. not like not as practical as I would as I like. I hate CGI, but acting was good. I actually cared about the people who were a part of it. Uh, the people who got killed, I didn't give a shit about. <laughs> but. <laughs> Like, the main characters that you focus on. It isn't like your normal teen slasher movie shit where you just bunch of dumb people who you're just waiting to see get chopped up. Mm. And this this wasn't based on... Did they make, like, books about it as well? Or was this just a movie series? Because in that case, I, the reason I ask is because, like, I you had we, mentioned Rob Zombie was, like, the first hard reboot of the series and he did it his own way. I don't think and, he was the first hard reboot. Oh, okay. I think... So, like, the third movie in the series isn't even about Michael Myers. It's about haunted, possessed masks that when children wear them, they get the urge to kill and shit like that. Had nothing to do with Michael Myers, and then they brought him back in the fourth movie, which wasn't even that good either. So, Mm. like, Halloween has a very strong following, but if you break down a lot of the movies, aside from the first, second, and maybe a couple of other gems... Like, things that you could like from, like, uh, Halloween, I think it's six, where it's LL Cool J is in it, and he is a uh, fucking, like, taijutsu master, Uh, he's a black belt in some kind of martial art, and he fucking roundhouses Michael Myers through a window and shit like that. Like, the movie's not good, but you remember that. Oh, my God. Shit like that. Oh, my God. It has a got I gotta look up that scene at least. Oh, dude, it's so fucking funny. But... The, the reason I brought it up was because, like, uh, I don't – it's weird how we would call if, – if you would call that a reboot because, like, when Christopher Nolan did his own Batman trilogy, like, no – it's it, – nobody called it a reboot of, the, like, the Batman series. It was just a new director's take on it, yeah, so nobody, to speak. Yeah, nobody – But oh. the, dif- the difference being that uh, the Dark Knight Batman, it has all of this source material from uh, D- DC. He's DC. Yeah. Film. Cool. I almost said Dark Horse, and I'm like, uh, no, they probably have some Batman in there. DC bought Dark Dark Horse. That's why they uh, have the okay. Watchmen now. Okay. Um, so I was like, they have all this source material to to pull from, so this is their take on that. Halloween's a little bit different because, to my knowledge, it's just the films. So it's literally just, well, we, like, I don't like the way that this movie went. I'm going to do it the way that I think it should have gone, and then let's see how far we can run with it. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I don't think it was ever a book series. It wasn't like, a, it wasn't definitely a part of Stephen King's thing or anything like that. It was just mm. 80s slasher horror movies were, oh, I thought you were going to make a little quip to the side. Uh, but it was just, yeah, that stuff. Just, we want to make horror movies and blood and sex scenes or what sells so that's what they put in there which is a whole different controversy with the fucking portrayal of women in horror movies in the 80s and stuff like that yeah um Uh, but i did finally find the answer um will sandon was technically the first person who ever played michael myers at the age of six years old because it was when my if you've ever spoilers for the first halloween but michael myers origin story is he kills his uh I think it's his sister, or no, his, either his sister or his babysitter when he's six years old and he goes to an insane asylum, and then he's portrayed by Nick Castle for the rest of the movie. So the very first hmm. Michael Myers was Nick Castle. Who was the most famous Michael Myers? I, If none comes to mind. One of mind. them is named Dick Warlock, so I'm going to go with him right now because that is a badass <laughs> fucking name. That, that you win can't name, be. You win name of the year. That can't be like birth given name, can it? I don't give a Dick shit. W- that is name of the year. Maybe Richard Warlock. Donald L. Shanks. No, I mean, I could have just been pulling it out of my ass. I have no idea. I don't remember. I, I don't know. Busta Rhymes, not LL Cool J. I apologize. It was Busta Rhymes who. That's even better. <laughs> I don't remember what martial arts it is, but just kicks Jason out of, I mean, J- Michael out of a fucking window, and it is the funniest scene ever. I'm sorry I got that wrong, and it's Busta Rhymes. It's also weird to just call a killer Michael. Michael Myers. It always confused me as a kid, because I used to watch Austin Powers and shit, and they're like, Michael Myers is a killer, and I'm like, I mean, he's funny. I wouldn't say he's killing it. <laughs> 
dumb joke of the week. No, now I'm imagining what an Austin Powers fucking Michael Myers crossover would look like, and I just can't wrap my head I around it. I feel like it. it was an SNL skit. It had to have been. He was on fucking... Somebody had to have done it before. Somebody's done it. it, it, it it's so we, long. We talk... But yeah, I guess that all, all comes back to say, Bitch Slap wasn't good. Uh, we haven't listened to the rest of the EP that came out around it. I think there's another couple of songs. Oh, so. yeah. Uh, I'm no, gonna give, is probably another 20. Yeah, I'm going to give that one a listen uh, later this week. And maybe the rest of the album makes up for a uh, poorly performing single. The single is never the best song on the album. It never is, so. but that it usually is a little bit higher than that. It's usually better. <laughs> Um, we talked last last week or the week before, I can't remember, about like what the what the best cover song was. We've been talking about reboots. Are there any like reboots that you think did it better than the original material? Getting into controversial no. Ooh none at all? I, I think no, I honestly don't because what bugs me about reboots is you need to show like a lot of the reboots that came out in the big era of like rebooting a whole bunch of franchises with uh freddy krueger and all the horror movies itself they just did the same shit and told it a little differently like the texas Chain chainsaw massacre reboot they just showed me like the same shots from the first film of the barn and things like that and showed me the dinner scene again and things like that and i'm like why are you telling me this story again if you're going to reboot the series, what is changing? Mm. What are you rebooting it for? Or are you just throwing a new coat of paint on an old fucking classic? Not Polish and turds, so to speak. But it's not a it's, not I, a it's a classic. It's not. <laughs> but they're not gra I mean, like, you go back and watch 80s horror films now, and it's so fucking funny. But it's really cool to see the practical effects. Because mm. you didn't have CGI like that back then. So it's like, they have to either... You get a lot of off-screen kills, which is really disappointing. But cheaper that way i'm the i'm the sick dude who watches crazy movies for the how do you kill people type shit yeah I, I i do not watch saw for the plot i absolutely hate saw but they kill people in really fucked up ways i mean the how like the how do you kill is interesting because how did they kill the people in midsomar that was interesting. That was interesting. It was gross. We it only talk grotesque. about Mid Somar so much because it's the only horror movie he's, he's seen. right. He's right. And it's not even that much of a horror. You're right. That's why I liked it so much. And it was just, it was a grotesque scene for a few seconds and then it was gone and it sat back in its little seat of miscomfort. And that's where I like to sit at with movies. You like would that. love Jordan Peele's movies, Us and Get Out. I know you I would. would I just haven't them. seen them yet. They are fantastic. You would love them and they are right up your alley. They are definitely not gore porn and shit like that. Are they on uh, Ulu? Or are they on... Uh, uh... Don't say x -flix. That's a different thing. No, I was trying to do it backwards. And it's it's fucking up my brain. Exelten. Exelten. I'm sure they're on something. Exelten. You probably have a better shot of them being on Am... Uh, Manzima. Not... Nah. She wasn't right, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I don't give a shit if it was right. You knew what I meant. Uh, I'm really glad none of these things are fucking palindromes. That would really spoil the fun, wouldn't it? Uh, I can't really think of a reboot that's better than the Source. No, I, I fully don't. I believe. can't. I absolutely mm, hated the Child's mm, Play reboot. And if you fight me, no, 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 fight no. me in the comments. The Child's Play reboot was garbage. Like, exp expanding it past uh, horror films, even. Um, I can't think of anything that was rebooted past horror films, except Batman, which I hate Batman. I, I don't care how many times his parents die. I hate Batman. I You're like, not a superhero. You're a spoiled brat with money who can kick people's butts. I like the world of Batman, but I don't care for Batman. I love the villains. That's what I'm saying. The world of Batman is super neat. I don't know. Catwoman's not interesting, and Robin's died too many times. For no, me. but Poison Ivy is fantastic. Yeah. And I like the... I, uh, she's one of my favorite villains. Sorry. I don't read... From the, I guess, Batman universe. I don't read the comics, so I guess... I, I like the Joker, but I know he's become, like, a controversial topic as of recently. So... <laughs> That's fair. He's just been overdone. Oh, where was I going with this? Oh, re uh, I was gonna throw DMC into the ring for, like... But re the reboot wasn't better than... Devil the May Cry? Yeah. I didn't even play that. The reboot? I never played any of it. Really? 
Finally, Devil May Cry 2 was like my no, Devil May Cry 3 on PS2 was uh my shit when I was younger. Nah, I just never got into it. That I'm pretty sure uh I think it was my entire 8th grade year was uh succumbed to that game that I still don't think I ever beat the final boss to. I still have the game. Uh sorry ex-girlfriend if you're listening to this. Yes, I still have your copy of Devil May Cry 3 and no, you're not getting it back until I beat the boss. It was that on PS2? Yeah. Hi, his ex-girlfriend. I actually have your copy of DMC3 <laughs> <laughs> sitting in my house right now on the shelf. We will never meet, so you will never get it back. <laughs> I don't know if I would recommend you go back and play them. Like, they were really... It was a really good game for its time, Jack, but... Was, was the newest one that just came out the reboot? I Yes. Was it okay? Jack tried to get. It was just me, DMC. Jack tried to get me to play that one. No, because wasn't that five? Was that the one? Was the one that Jack and Chia played on our channel? That was. I'm pretty sure it was five. Yeah, which DMC? You started saying that in the microphone like that was Siri. No, now I'm thinking. Is there? I think I'm. There's Devil May Cry Five, which is the one that Jack and Chia played on yes. on the tube. And then there's DMC, which was the reboot. Yes, but I don't know if DMC 5 takes place in the canon of DMC. I don't think it does. I don't know. Jack tried to get me to play DMC 5, and it's still just a hacky slashy shooter. Yeah. Uh, Devil May Cry 4 was probably the most fun game in the series, in my opinion. A lot of people shit on it, but I had a lot of fun with it. It was the most hack and slashy game that still felt like... Uh, not it wasn't open world. It was very railroaded, just like all of the other ones are. But what's, it was open enough that you can explore and fight shit. What's weird is like I usually like those games, but I don't know if it's just because it's you don't like the premise. You don't like the edge lord demon it's boy. It. I was like, I don't want to say it's too edge lord, but it's too edge lord for me. And the most interaction I had with that game is a and don't put this in, put it back in. But yeah, I just never fucking. I, I never got into it. I was too, I, I'm the badass white-haired man who's going to come in and slay all the demon fucks really fucking cool and shoot guns. And, and it sounds really cool, but then everything is just so fucking serious all the time. Everything back to back to back is serious. And then I, I'll say in Devil May Cry That's 5. That's not true. There are comic relief there's moments. C- some, 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 some very few in the first. <laughs> very few in the first. In the fifth one that I played... It was almost overdone, like they were trying to compensate for all the shit that they took too seriously before, because whenever I was playing the new one with Jack and Chia, I couldn't take anybody seriously. Even Nero, who I was... Nero? Was it Nero? Is that it? No, Dante. Dante. Even Dante is supposed to be like the, I am the edgiest, I am the bane of my sword, motherfucker. Not really in the one that they played. In the one that they played, he was like an old motherfucker. Like, I'm too old for this demon hunting shit. Blah, blah, that even blah. makes him more serious. <laughs> no, that makes him more like the, uh, oh, what character? Kis- Kis- Kisuke from-, from Bleach? Striped Hat Man? Pick any crazy uncle character from anime. Uh, Kakashi the, and Naruto? This is the episode where, uh,. <laughs> It's just a bunch of shit that Jeff Dice doesn't watch. I was going to say... What does Dice watch? What, what's the, been going on in, in... The biggest reference you could have probably did, but you don't know it is maybe Joseph Joestar, if that's what you're getting at, but you have no idea what that means, so we can't find a common ground there. Uh, I've been watching that uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's uh, Titan Games things oh, or whatever it is. Amanda watches that. Dot watches it, so I've been like watching it. It's pretty funny. I mean, not funny. It's pretty good. Uh, it's weird to see people get just crazily bested on some things. Like sometimes it's a nice little sudden death match, and you're like, oh, "Okay, round three's here, and it's gonna be it's gonna be close, and they're gonna be banging it." No, it's sometimes it's just like, "Oh shit, that dude just mowed that motherfucker over." <laughs> it. I mean, it's it's a show. I don't it's, like it. It's an it's 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 what, like it's American a- Ninja Warrior, but it's all about. It's way more about strength than your agility. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And that's what it. That's the difference I'm saying is that is all about power and being able to be dexterous while being strong. American Ninja Warrior or the original Ninja Warrior is about 
full athletics and your ability to change on the fly mm -hmm. what you have to do while also keeping stamina and a pace. The original, like, Ninja Warrior and American Ninja Warrior series were, like, kind of cool. I watched those, like, if they were on, but it wasn't something I made a point to watch. Like, the, the Titan games just feels like you're, all right, we've got big name host. We've got an American athletic show. We've got corny one-liners that don't sound good. I hate that before every single game, The Rock has a really, really, really bad line that he has to say, and he delivers it just deadpan, straight at the camera. This. Oh, she's going to hate Taking me. up more than half of the frame because he is a huge dude. This is Mount Olympus. She's going to hate that I'm kind of talking. It's not, again, it's not a bad show. I watch it. It's kind of cool. I don't like, she knows I don't like the talking portions of it. We watched one yesterday about a dude whose slogan was country strong. And <laughs> he claims he's like this funny uh, teacher guy. Okay. But boy, howdy, does he not have a camera presence? And everybody in that fucking venue wants you to have a camera presence. And he's just like, he dominates in the competition, but he, when he's on camera, he's like trying to talk his way through and keep energy. And you could see him overthinking shit really quick. And I'm like laughing my ass off. And there's so many commercials, but <laughs> <laughs> they have to, they play like a 90 second game. Dwayne Johnson talks for another minute and a half and they're like, okay, um, we have a half hour show and we're like a third of the way through filming today. Spoilers for one. If you get this far and you happen to catch this episode, when the country strong one comes on, watch the second event between the guys because they brag about how this event can go from zero from like five seconds to 20 minutes. And it all depends on the competitors. The competition is allowed to last 20 minutes. It lasts seven seconds. <laughs> <laughs> fucking country strong hit that wall like a fucking bulldozer and the dude didn't stand a chance the fear will, of god was putting that man when that wall hit him i will say watching watching them like play the games and complete the challenges is cool they have some really neat uh Really neat ways of leveraging strength that uh, that I hadn't seen on previous like obstacle show, obstacle course type shows. I'll say. I think the shit leading into Mount Olympus plays to all different kinds of athletic abilities that do kind of focus around having strength in a lot of ways. But it is you can be of slimmer builds and things like that, and still be able to keep up with your stronger competitors. Mm -hmm. But I think Mount Olympus is the most bullshit thing. I think Mount Olympus is strictly all about upper body strength. I, I I think it's complete just you have to be jacked in the pecs and the fucking buys and the tries and the shoulders and you can win Mount Olympus. Because I watched a UFC fucking three time champion get decimated by that fucking run. <laughs> Do they mention like how they split up filming that show? No, I have no idea. Because I'm wondering how many of those contestants are like, I made it to Mount Olympus, and now that guy has to go complete two other challenges before challenging me here. <laughs> well, because I mean, that's literally what happens in the first episode of each region because, okay, we shouldn't talk about this forever, but... You're right, it's not a great show. We're talking about... We're talking a I lot about a show that's... I gotta talk about it. I would it. give it like a 4 out of 10, honestly. Uh, watching the like... challenges, 7 out of 10. Every Everything single other part of the show, four out of ten. Yeah, I I agree with that. This the is one of those are fantastic. This is one of those shows you look up highlight reels on YouTube. Um, other things I've been watching. Uh, I I've made it to. I think I'm near the end of Water Seven Arc on One Piece, and it is fantastic. What episode number are you up to? Two hundred and sixty. And now we've got a new anime to watch. I was gonna say, but it's going on pause. Because I didn't know it came out at the end of July. Netflix never gave me a notification. I'm sorry. Uh, Absolutely ghosted. Z Ziffle 10 didn't give me any notifications <laughs> on it. But Seven Deadly Sins new season is out. And apparently they fixed the animation problems that was coming around in the uh, oh. live airing. Ooh. Because our buddy Angry Biscuit told us that uh, he could not tell the difference between that and the last season. So I am fucking 
excited for the wrath of the gods. Oh, One Piece is going on pause. There will possibly be a review next week of the entire season. We could probably talk about the other two seasons if that's what you want to hear. This is the one anime that me and Jane finally, like, we agree on is, like, it's my favorite anime. I, my problem is I haven't watched it. I, I don't remember what happened in the actual season two. Oh, I just caught, I caught up over, uh, I didn't. I caught up over quarantine break. <laughs> quarantine break. Yeah, oh my god, for quarantine break, we're gonna stay at my house and do nothing. It could be our fucking franchise horror slasher films that people quarantine go on quarantine break. break. Uh, it's basically, no. I just see that being like a paranormal activity movie. But I am super excited. I am caught up on season one and season two. I have watched the movie. I am, I have only, so this is finally going to be a part because I have taken a break from reading the manga. So, if Ooh. I watch this whole season, I'm finally going to be ahead of myself in the show than I am actually reading. Which, I'm disappointed in, but I just, I don't have time to read as much right now. No. I was, a, uh, I mean, to cut through, to cut through the veil a little bit, I don't know what the next podcast is going to be like, because that's going to be with everyone. Oh yeah, we are gonna have to record the podcast with everyone next next week. Y'all are getting a treat. You're getting all five salt. Well, I'm not gonna promise all five. I'm pretty sure though, you're getting all five salty lads on the next one. Well, that's good. Then we have two weeks to watch the entire season, <laughs> but I'll have it done by Sunday, at the latest. What uh, what what should we have them leave in the comments below today? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, the first thing you should do is uh, hit the like button. Uh, you should also hit that bell so that you can get notified when we drop new videos. Uh, you can catch us streaming on Twitch every single Tuesday at twitch.tv backslash salty entertainment fun time. Um, that's everything that you can do on here and no, down in the comments. No, you need to subscribe. Don't, don't let I already him... said. I already no, said. you said hit the bell. You said like. I said hit the subscribe. Oh, I hit. You are correct. I am right. I was like, wait uh, till you play it back in the recording and you go, God damn it, Dice was right. Uh, is there a franchise out there that you. Wanted, that you thought was better rebooted than it was originally? Why are you wrong in the comments? Oh my god. <laughs> I think I I truly believe that there is a reboot that did better than the original. Maybe in a game franchise. I mean, you know what? We're a fucking gaming channel and I never even thought of games that were rebooted that might have been better than the original. Because... Do remasters count as reboots? And, no, I don't think so. Because I was going to say, because, like, Bikini Bottom Rehydrated is really good, but that's not a reboot. That's just a new coat of paint on an old game. Keep in mind, that does not count. That does not count. I talked about the DMC reboot. That's, oh, an, that's a you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, I don't count DMC as a fun game. Bye, guys.